What is up clients from the Audacious Athlete roster for both Chanel's clients, Steve clients, and my clients. Welcome to this client module video. I'm gonna do something a little bit different. Oh, this is episode two in the quarantine edition. So the first uh, quarantine video, client module video, I took you guys through how you can properly warm up at home, which was great, great informative video. But I kind of wanted to touch on kind of the more mental uh, health side of this kind of journey that we're going on together because it's what I see a lot of online. Um, it's what I see a lot of people talking about. I know it's uh, something that a lot of people are struggling throughout all this, especially because um, depending on where you live, um, doesn't look like things are going to be opening back up for a while um, so obviously we're going to have to just do our best and, and do all that we can to try and survive this together and stay safe and stay sane and still be productive with our lives and not go absolutely freaking crazy. So what I wanted to do with this video was my top eight ways to survive a pandemic dun, dun, dun. or this quarantine. So in no specific order, um, so number eight. Yeah, nails are gone. They're officially toast. It's fine. Number eight is keeping a routine. So in pretty much all of my client check-ins, this is something that I have been addressing. Um, I know this is now the first time for a lot of people working from home. And although it sounds great being able to stay in your pajamas all day, it can be a struggle to adjust to it first and it can definitely be a challenge. Um, when I first started working from home, it took me a while to really just get into a routine where I felt good and I felt like I was maximizing my time throughout the day, um, you know, still getting a lot done and just not being distracted by, you know, cleaning the floors or just every, every kind of distraction that you have in your house. So. I would absolutely recommend keeping a, a daily routine uh, alongside a morning and a night routine. Uh, a lot of people's sleep schedule is off because of you know the pandemic as well. You know, not having to be everywhere not or anywhere, not having to go to work at a specific time. A lot of people are going to bed later, waking up later, um, which is kind of throwing off their you know entire day and their systems. So, keeping a morning routine in check. Um, you know, eating your meals at the same time as you would, um, working out at the same time as you would, um, you know, just everything that you would do if you were back at work, uh, you know, just implement that at your house um, so you can, you know, stay as regimented as possible um, and not, again, for something for me when I first started working from home was just like being productive with every single moment and, you know, keeping your routine definitely will help with that. Number seven, having two different hobbies. The first one that will keep you fit and the second that will get your creative juices flowing and keep you creative and keep your mind having to constantly think. So whether that be for the first one keeping you fit, um, obviously this is a um, athletic roster. You guys do come to Chanel, Steve and I for um, physique coaching. So we know all of you are very active and you know, with the, the programs that we give you, um, we know you're going to be able to stay active throughout all of this. Uh, now, in addition to that, you can be getting outside. Um, for me personally, I've started doing a lot of things that I haven't done since I was a little kid, like going rollerblading and going longboarding and uh you know just going for walks and really taking the time to just be outside and it's gonna sound so like cheesy but just like being in nature it's you forget how beautiful it is and just being able to get outside and um you know be active is such a huge help uh, both mentally and physically, obviously, you know, you reap the physical benefits from it, but being outside, um, you know, getting that vitamin D, getting those endorphins flowing from, you know, exercise, it's so beneficial. Um, and then the second one to keep you creative. Um, so for example, for me, again, the things that I used to do as a kid, I used to draw all the time and I used to, I've always been into fashion. So, you know, recently during the quarantine, I've started like customizing my own clothing, whether it, like it's bleaching or tie dye, or um, like I've started studying a leather jacket. 
I don't know, it, it just sounded fun to me. Um, and it kind of combines everything that I like to do and it allows me to think creatively. So um, that also kind of keeps you sane. So those two things, two different hobbies, one that does keep you active and one that keeps you creative. Number six. So depending on who you live with, even if you do live with somebody else, you should be still keeping in touch with your loved ones and friends throughout this time. Uh, it's going to be exponentially more difficult if you do live alone um, because you're not getting that like constant one-on-one -on -one social interaction. So that's why it's even more important to, like I said, keep in touch with your family and friends, um, whether it be, you know, phone calls, FaceTime, um, you know, whatever you need to do to just get that interaction and just like talk to somebody, especially because I know that a lot of people are struggling with their mental health during this time. So it's so important that we keep that communication going, get that social interaction um, to make us, you know, feel good and just not go stir crazy. You know what I mean? So number five is kind of something that I already touched on, um, just staying active throughout all of this. Again, um, you know, just getting those endorphins flowing, um, all the benefits that you get from exercise. Obviously, you know, the physical is, is up there and it's been so great to watch you all, you know, stay on your plan and not kind of let what's happening be an excuse to put those goals, you know, kind of on the back burner, like you, in terms of, as far as I know, all of my clients, and I'm sure Chanel and C's clients are the same way, you know, we still continue to make this a priority um, because it, it helps us in so many different ways, um, you know, mentally, physically, just knowing that, you know, we're continuing to work on becoming our best selves, um, you know, getting a sweat on, getting those good endorphins flowing. And if you do your, outs your workouts outside, getting that, you know, the benefits of vitamin D, um, it's just so, so important. And um, to me, it's, it's one of the top things on my list that uh, has helped just kind of make this different lifestyle, um, you know, just, just more manageable. So number four is also something that uh, we touched on is just getting outside, being in nature, going to explore different areas, obviously, while practicing safe social distancing. Um, it, it's, it's fun and it's adventurous. And I know um, myself included, like we get so caught up in the day to day with work and, you know, whether you have a family and, and you know, whatever else you're involved with, we, we lose I guess we don't feel like we have enough time to, or we can't find the time to go and explore the cool parts of where we live. Like being outside is so cool. And, um, you know, it's just so much fun going on new adventures. Um, you know, it can be with somebody that, you know, you're close with and you know, like you're, you're safe being around and just doing that together. Like it's, it's such a mental, it gives you such a mental break and you know just just laughing and exploring new things and taking pictures and being outside and you know getting to see new things and new places like it's so um it's such a cool thing for me that uh i definitely you know i'm gonna be more conscious of even after this is over um you know really taking the time to do that because it's helped with my mental health so so much so get outside you know go explore where you live um and, and stay active i think we're on number three number three don't just, as tempting as it sounds, like I said, staying in your pajamas all day and being a bum, after a while, you really kind of start to feel, to feel like a dirt bag. <laughs> I mean, this is just coming from my personal experience, but just getting dressed, you know, continuing to um, prioritize, you know, self-care and not every day. I mean, I think I can probably count on, well, definitely less than one hand. Uh, I've probably worn a full, well, I haven't, this is the first time I've worn a full face of makeup since this uh, pandemic started. And then on a day-to-day -day basis, like since I'm really only going to do, you know, my workout and then stay home, I, I haven't worn makeup really at all. And it's been such a nice break for my skin, but still like getting dressed and doing your makeup and doing your hair every once in a while, it just makes you feel good. It makes you feel like, you know, less, less of a slob makes you feel you know more productive it makes you feel good about yourself too and it's crazy like like i said this is like the first time i've kind of put on more than just a little tiny bit of like blush and mascara really and a little tiny bit of bronzer since this whole thing started um even though this isn't like really isn't that much makeup for me like it's not full full glam um 
it just seems like so much and it just makes such a difference you know in your confidence levels and uh like i said it just makes you feel good and also you know it helps take up time throughout the day um, i know a lot of people are just bored at home you know doing nothing and that's kind of when you fall into that pattern of you know boredom you, you, you really don't like you get into this vicious cycle of just continuing to have days like that and string days like that together um definitely had a few of those here and there where i found myself on netflix way too long um but you know just getting dressed wearing something nice doing your makeup it, it totally helps so I encourage that as well number two and this is obviously something that as physique coaches we will preach um we know how healing food can be um food choices uh you know obviously or not obviously your body doesn't know say if you're consuming a pop tart or a sweet potato it doesn't recognize that but it does recognize the nutritional breakdown of you know each individual food so obviously the sweet potato is going to have way more nutritional and health benefits than the pop tart filled with sugar and preservatives and whatever whatever other shit but that's why it's so so important um you know food is medicine and food sources and food choices is medicine and again with so many people struggling with their mental health throughout all of this, we really want to own in on making really great food, cho food choices for our health, both physically and mentally. So um, continuing to prioritize nutrient dense, whole food sources throughout all of this, making sure you're getting your fruits and vegetables in, your micronutrients, um, you know, keeping up with whatever vitamins you take, your vitamin D, you know, your multivitamin, your omegas, like, Again, keeping that routine set in place and really prioritizing good food throughout all of this can really make or break um, just like your outlook, obviously digestion, everything like that, but that's a whole different topic. Um, but picking good food, you know, keeping great food sources, that is going to be a huge, huge um, aid and benefit to this you know, and in your everyday life, but especially right now. And number one, ah, and number one, I don't know the rest of the words, but number one is just prioritizing your mental health. Like I was saying, so many people are struggling throughout this time. This pandemic is really affecting everybody in a different way based on your, you know, your situation and it's truly affecting people's livelihoods and ability to, you know, provide for their family. and. That is a freaking scary thing and detrimental to our mental health. Um, you know, people are are losing so much, like stuff and, and money and savings that they've worked years and years and years to, you know, acquire over time. You know, people are losing their jobs. They can't, like, so so much that is happening throughout all of this. That you know, there there definitely is some good, obviously, you know, as well, but. So much is happening and not even to mention just like the people that are getting sick because of the virus and it's just crazy how much negativity is is going on obviously because of this so it's so so important to focus on our mental health um you know a lot of people are also having issues with not having an actual gym they're they're having trouble finding that motivation that they would have in their usual day-to-day -day routine like in their daily lives now people are you know Home workouts, you know, you can still get a lot done, but depending on how much equipment you have, like it can definitely um, take a toll on motivation levels, just not wanting to um, do the kind of workouts that we can at home, but, you know, they're just not the same. So a lot of people are struggling with that. Um, and then I said, just everything else that is involved with everything that's going on in the world right now, it's so, so important to, you know, be continuing to take that me time, continue to really prioritize your mental health, um, you know, Obviously, Chanel has been doing everything that she possibly can with, um, you know, the virtual yoga class with, uh, I believe it's, I always pronounce her name wrong, Leah Joe or is it Leah Joe? Miss Turner, um, you know, the yoga, the yoga classes and, um, be, you know, going outside and getting that, that dose of vitamin D and endorphins and staying active, like those have definitely helped me as well. Um, you know, just doing whatever you have to do to really, you know, constantly ensure that you are in a good mental headspace. I say this to my clients all the time. 
the physical and you know your body will always follow your mind your mind really controls everything that happens you know within your life i don't know what you believe in but i believe in you know vibrations and energy and if we're in a negative headspace and that's the kind of energy we're putting out into the world it's just going to snowball and we're going to attract more of that negative energy into our life so um, again just implementing different tactics and different things um, to just ensure that our mental health is is continually in a good place. Um, so that is what I have to say. Um, I hope this was really, really helpful for you all. Um, I love making these videos. I love just being able to talk to you guys and just like share what's on my mind. Um, like I said, the last video was more of, you know, an instructional video, a mod, a more um, typical module that you would see. But um, with what's going on right now in the world, I just kind of wanted to really touch on, you know, these individual topics and also just like as a whole, how we can get through this together um, because, you know, I want to make sure everybody is okay and that everybody is, you know, still continuing to be healthy and happy and sane and, you know, we can come together as a team um, because, you know, you're not alone in this and, and if you're feeling some type of way, I'm sure there's someone out there, more than sure, I'm positive there's somebody out there that's feeling the exact same way. So um, it just kind of, you know, help bring up, helps bring up conversation and different topics of conversation so that um, we continue to get through this and fight through this together. So thank you so much again for watching. I hope you guys are having a great, great day. Um, I appreciate you guys so much for watching, for be being on the Audacious Athlete team and roster and putting your trust and heart and soul into us. We truly appreciate it so, so much and value you guys so, so much. And you are a huge part of what has helped keep us sane throughout this. So on behalf of the three of us, like thank you so much and we adore every single one of you. So thank you so much for watching and I'll talk to you guys soon.